Joe Gonzo. What's up, man? I wonder if anybody they call you Gonzo, because I got a lot of Joes, so I might just call you Jay Gonzo or Gonzo or however you however you want, man. Hey, I wanted to show you your swing in slow motion first, so let's get that keyed up. I have it looping on one of the the more line drive swings that you got towards the end. So I know you said that you really haven't seen this before, seen your swing on video. So this is kind of cool, I know the first time. And I know as we talked, you you told me that you know it did pretty good in Little League, and then once the move to the big field, we had a little trouble, and I can see probably where you were doing pretty well in Little League. That's the way I was. I was, I was on fire in Little League, and then once moving to the big field really screwed me up. So it's a couple more swings, and we'll go into it. And yeah, it took me a couple years until I figured it out, and and even still, I lost a lot of power. I never really got my power back, but I wasn't doing the things that I'm teaching now. I just didn't know about them. But anyway, but let's take a look here. Okay, I'm going to remove these brackets. Okay, first thing you know we talked about was foundation, which is pretty basic for for your for being a freshman, going to be a sophomore in high school. But the first thing that I want to look at after foundation, because if we don't have a good foundation, if we don't have a good athletic stance to to move from, then we're we're not gonna. Everything else is gonna we're gonna have a hard time. So vision is always the next important thing. If we're not seeing the ball very well, we're not gonna hit it. So I will draw a circle once that front heel touches down around your head to see if we get any head movement. Now your head in the circle shouldn't move forward down, up, back, side to side, some weird thing. So we want to make sure that that head stays right in that circle as you can see that head's moving forward, which is causing that ball to seem faster than it is. Now even at contact, we're way out in front with contact here. As you can see, look at this is where the ball's at before you even get there. And look at where our knob is. I know you knob to ball down and through type of guy you were talking about the down slope or whatever it was that the coach was talking about. And this is how I swung in high school. I was a down and through guy. This is what got me my hard work and the down and through thing got me into a scholarship at state. However, the ceiling for me in college was this down and through swing. I ended up hit I went from hitting four hundred in high school to two fifty in college lifetime. That's not that's not really good. So this was my ceiling. And if I had what we're gonna talk about, then it would things would be different. But if as you can see, everything's out in front, even our vision, besides our head moving forward, but our vision's way out here. Now you've already made contact with the ball. See in the frame before, ball's coming in, you've already made contact, the ball's going out right now. So your eyes are way out in front. So that's going to be the first thing we're going to work on is cleaning up your vision a little bit, making sure that that head stays in that circle, or just, just making sure that we're keeping our nose on the ball. Okay, so that'll probably be a quick fix. We'll work on that in the beginning, but if, if it's something you want to work on, you, this is the only thing that I'll let my hitters do on their own is just keeping your nose behind the barrel. When every swing you take, try and keep your nose behind the barrel, even through contact, or through, even through contact and when you finish your swing on your follow through. I want your nose to stay behind the barrel. Every good major league hitter that winds up in the top on base plus slugging percentage keeps their nose behind the barrel. And here we're just not doing that. We're just way out in front with our eyes, with our head, with everything. Try and keep that nose behind the barrel this week, because we really didn't have to change too much on your on your foundational stance part. We did mess with your grip a little bit, so work that and nose behind your barrel. So when I see you next time, I want to see nose behind the barrel, and I want to see you get a little comfortable with that grip. So next thing we talk about is your footwork. So your forward momentum. What we're going to do is we're going to get you going forward. As you can see here, we're just kind of reaching out. We're sitting back because that's what most coaches have told you is to sit back on that back leg. And that causes a very defensive swing, not very aggressive. And we just kind of sit out and just wait for that ball to come. It causes us to drip forward, which causes that ball 
to seem faster in our mind's eye and breaking balls to break more and it just it just screws everything up so we got to get that head to be a little bit more stable so we're going to teach you to actually we're going to be moving forward with our stride we're going to pick that foot up we're going to let it fall where it falls you have a decent angle back here it's not flamingo leg so you angle the leg flamingo leg usually is where hitters will take their knee and they'll bring it over their foot you're not doing that so that's good we have the makings of a good forward momentum swing we just gotta let that when we pick up that front foot we just gotta let it fall forward now none of this stuff like some of the this I don't want you to do on your own I wanna see that the only thing I want you to do on your own is nose behind the barrel okay but we're gonna get you to fall forward a little bit and we're gonna what you already actually are doing we just gotta get you to move that back foot to move forward but your back back foot actually comes off the ground pretty good which I like. That's our brake. I always refer to this as our gas pedal, our front leg, and our brake pedal is our back leg. And you got to take your foot off the brake to go anywhere. But I'd like to see this back foot move a little bit forward, maybe a couple inches. So we'll work on that part of the forward momentum. And what having us go forward first, get on a good bent leg, let this foot fall forward. You're probably going to land about right here. We're going to get you to land about right there. And we go forward first and then we're going to go back just like you would snap a towel you throw the end of the towel out and then pull back real quick to get that snap and that's what that's going to do is that's going to help you right now your angle will get you a back angle towards the catcher right now your angle is almost 83 degrees what we're going to do you're going to see a night and day change night and day shift because we're going to get your body at about 65 degrees and below so you're going to be more like this that's that snapping towel is telling you about. So what it's going to do, it's going to give you way more time to swing, which is a blessing and a curse because you're going to have to be more patient and not be so out in front with everything. That is a problem. So we're going to have to sit back and do some deep T work and some different things like that to get you to get this in this back position. But other than that, you got some good stuff working. The upper body, that stuff will all change. I do like your down shoulder angle. I think you have a this is something that I'm teaching now to some of my hitters. This is a good thing. Keep that going. Um, where we actually, the front shoulder will, and the hip will come together, creates like this little V in front. So that's good, but then it just all kind of goes out the window because our lower half and our front arm actually looks okay. Our back arm's pull, pushing forward quite, quite, a, quite a bit. But we'll clean that up, man. But it looks looks okay. We'll get you we'll get you pretty super, uh, um, pristine by the end of the summer. So anyway, brother, got any questions? You know where to find me.